Well, we did not. Uh, obviously, we didn't expect it to go that way. We expected to win, um, but we, we have great respect for their team and what they've done and how good they are. And um, we know that if we tipped it up again, then it would then we'd be starting all over with a, with a great chance to with a 50-50 chance to win or lose. And so, but I do think that um, that because of that, it's appropriate for me to give credit to our players for what I thought was a really good 40 minutes. Um, three or four minutes out of the gate, that was a little slow for us, and then a bad three or four minutes to finish, but all of the in-between was pretty daggum good. All right, questions for the players. UNCG was mixing up the defenses a lot at the beginning. They were in the backcourt, then had some zone and some man, um, and that was sort of in the period where things were close. What was it? in your all's eyes that uh, the turning point where you all were finally able to break through and kind of crack the code of their defense? Um, you know, we just had to recognize it early. Um, like you said, they've got a bunch of defenses. They got the full court press back in the zone or back in the man. We had to recognize it early once we cro crossed over. Um, but, you know, once we recognized it, slowed down, ran our sets, um, we were fine. So we're really just recognizing it. Garrison Rob, is there something about being on the road that provides you guys some comfort? I mean, that was your 13th road win. This hostile environment too. That, I mean, pretty pretty impressive, right? I mean, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, I mean, it's it's a good feeling for sure that we can come in in front of a great crowd that they had and play to play well and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a good feeling. Rob, I uh, believe you had something like 24, 26 points on just one missed shot, and you were going you were, you were going up against the 2018 SoCon deep, defensive player of the year in a. James Dickey, and he had you know a big height advantage. Uh, what was uh, the key this afternoon to have such a um, I just had to find, um, you know, where I was, where I was making the quick shots, quick easy shots at the rim. Um, being on rhythm really helps. You know, got Coach Eacham, the assistant at Lipscomb, he's helped me a lot throughout the year and throughout the past years of, you know, finding my rhythm early, finding the easy open shots, um, taking what the defense gives me, and so just got the rhythm today. You guys are both local kids. What do you think the success that you all are having, and also Belmont? Uh, has done for your area as far as the basketball in the area as a whole? Uh, I mean, it helps. I mean, we all kind of knew each other in high school a little bit. Um, but over these past four years, we've really, really gotten to know each other and become like a, like a family. And uh, that's really, really helped our, our uh, chemistry. And so I think that's been the biggest thing for us. I mean, not just us local guys, but I mean, guys from out of town and stuff too. We're all just like a little family. Um, and that's helped us out a ton this year. How much do you think the crisp passing helped you guys out today? You had 20 some odd assists, and the passing kind of reminded me of that first Liberty game where you guys were just on top of it. Full, full, full press really didn't give me any trouble, did it? Yeah, anytime that we can get a bunch of assists like that and get the ball moving, um, it really helps our offense, gets the defense on their heels a lot of the time. So um, we've played against a, a few really good defensive teams, um, and the way we beat them is passing the ball really quickly, really crispy, like you said. So, um, you know, keep doing that and get the ball in the hole. Coach, how, did, how much did James Dickey getting in foul trouble kind of open things up for you guys? I you know Rob down low and everything. It just seemed like with him being such a presence, uh, yeah. that hurt them. Well, the, the key for Rob on offense is always just getting good position. By good position, that means um, both angles and also close to the basket where he doesn't have to do too much with it you know, because he's got such great touch and, um, and he's going to make a high percentage of those shots. And then naturally him getting two fouls early and not playing a lot of the first half allowed Rob to really get on rhythm and have gained some confidence. And, um, and so it just kind of, I think, snowballed on them from there. Um, but it was, it was important for sure. You know, he's, a, he's a tremendous player, he's especially doing what he does. I'm talking about Dickie, I mean, Billy would block shots, rebound on both ends of the floor. It was helpful for us. It's, that's definitely when we, you know, we kind of gained our confidence, um, incrementally built a little bit of a lead. You know, that scoring on offense helped us on defense. Um, and so <clears throat> it was just, um, it was important. Have you had a chance to watch either NC State or Harvard this year? And if so, what do you see out of either of them? I, I haven't watched enough to be able to give you any kind of scouting <laughs> report. Uh, I've definitely seen them. I mean, I saw some of Harvard's game against Georgetown the other day. And just because NC State's on TV all the time, I've seen a little bit of their, um, of them as well. You know, and, but I don't know enough. I mean, I know they're both going to be really good. It'll be a really tough game. I'm just glad we're still playing in it. And Coach, so much about this tournament is about incentive. You know, obviously teams are disappointed to get left out. Um, them being the first team left out, it didn't seem like they were disinterested at all. I mean, especially the first half there. 
I thought it was a high level game, you know. Um, as far as effort, um, you know, I don't know what the environment's like here usually, but it was good today. And uh, I felt like the first half really showed that two good teams and kind of blow for blow and a lot of excitement and a lot of good plays. And, you know, when the margin, when we got the margin, it changed a little bit. But I, I thought it was a high level game. I can't imagine people didn't enjoy watching. You guys okay making a third trip back out here in North Carolina if it's NC State? We'll go wherever. They, I guess that's where we are if they win, right? Either at NC State or at home against Harvard, I guess. If it is at home, what would what do you anticipate that atmosphere being like? That's a good question. Um, it's a good question because we had an atmosphere better than I could have ever imagined for our championship game against Liberty, and um, you know, and so and it was a pretty a lot of deflated people walking out of there. Right. So hopefully they've been rejuvenated as our team has, and if we ha if we happen to get that chance. You know, um, then I would expect they'll show up and be ready to go. No matter what, I think our team will. And, um, you know, the experience allows us to show up home more on the road, and that's the question to the road. Uh, that's the answer to the road question is, I mean, just when you've got experience and you've won a lot of games, it doesn't, you know, you're okay just showing up. And let's just play wherever they send us.